Hi, Paul Thompson from Twang Tuition here. Uh, thanks for joining us once again for this week's tutorial. Uh, and today's song comes by request of Joe Brown and he's requested that great Foo Fighters classic, The Pretender. Uh, I think it's the one that everybody wants to play on guitar because, there's um, it's, again, it's, it's great fun. Tricky little intro, little arpeggiated intro, which is the, probably the hardest part of the song. And then it's a good old driving along uh, rock tune, which is great to play on guitar. So I'm going to do each little bit uh, and I hope you're getting okay with it. Uh, and thanks for the request, Joe. Keep them coming in. Any, any requests, any uh, any technical things that you uh, that you'd like me to cover, then by all means, I'm happy to do so. Uh, and here we go with the, the Pretender by the Foo Fighters. Okay, straight on with the intro. Then I'm going to suggest this is the trickiest part of the song to learn: just arpeggiated chords based around the name minor chord, which I'm playing here with my third finger uh, on the fourth string, tenth fret, second finger on the ninth fret third string, little finger on the 10th fret, second string as well. Creates a little A minor chord there and those fingers are going to stay all the way through the um, the arpeggiated intro there. My first finger is going to do all the work changing through the bass notes. Okay, so um, nice and slowly. Okay, so to begin with, my first finger is going to be uh, playing the seventh fret first string there to get the first chord. As well with arpeggios, as I've said before, I'm picking down the strings to the highest string and then picking back up. I'm going to play an open A, first finger to the seventh fret bottom string, strum the chord up to the eighth fret. Strum the chord again to the open A string again. Then my first finger is coming to the ninth fret on the fifth string. Pick it down again. Bending that ninth, uh, that note of the ninth fret there. Moving back down to the eighth fret and picking down the arpeggio, or up, should, up and back down the arpeggio, should I say. And then the whole thing repeats through then for the verse. Okay, so that's the arpeggiated intro, first part of the verse. Then we're going to an overdriven sound for the for the um, second part of the intro. Okay, first thing is going to be anchored at the fifth fret, second string, and also playing over the open top E string as well. Okay, my first finger is going to be anchored there because we're coming back. We're coming back to that first finger each time uh, as the as the riff climbs. For the last double stop there, I'm flattening my first finger across the um, 
the two strings there at the fifth fret to get the top note. I'm also pedalling on the open E string as I said before. Alternate picking with my picking hand to get the speed. And then to complement that riff we've got a little chord rhythmic uh, chord pattern as well. I'm going to play bar chords here over an A minor chord first of all or an A5 power chord if you prefer twice through and then the next chord is a D major with an F sharp bass and I'm playing that with me uh, little finger playing the D root and my third finger playing the major third there with my first finger playing the F sharp bass once on that uh, D chord and then once on the F And then just a little rhythmic, permuted uh, rhythmic part then. And then to lead into the chorus, we've got a, a, a series of octaves climbing up the scale starting on the 5th fret, 5th um, string, with my little finger playing the octave, 2 frets up, 2 strings up. So going through the 5th fret and the 7th, to the 7th and the 9th, to the 9th and 11th, and then into the chorus, which is the same chords but just a full on rhythm. And then we've got a little, um, well, it's, it's, it's a, a boogie, a little boogie run on the on the uh, A5 chord here. Back into the verse, and that boogie features in the in the breakdown as well. A little bit quieter. I'm holding down a, an, an A5, A, A power chord there. Uh, adding my third finger on the fourth fret, my little finger on the same string at the fifth fret, and then playing this string, the highest string then. That's essentially uh, the main arrangement for the song. Well, that's it for another week. Many thanks for tuning in and many thanks for your request, Joe. Don't forget, if you're relatively new to guitar, check out our 26 lesson online beginner's guitar course. It takes you from being a complete beginner through to uh, playing lots of cool riffs, solos and, and lots of songs. But the, probably the important thing as well that is kind of unique to the course is that if you do sign up, uh, you'll become part of the Twang family. So there's lots of ongoing help and support lots of extra free tutorials um, and it's it's a growing community which is going down really well as those of who signed up to it already are finding out uh, and it, um, it helps you with all those difficult uh, techniques that you might be struggling a little bit with everybody helps each other out I'm always there for for extra support as well so check it out on the on the website in the info on on here uh, and I look forward to seeing you next week <laughs>